When using Microsoft Graph Data Connect to extract data for your users, you can specify that you want to export data for all users in the tenant. You can specify that you want to export data for specific groups inside of Azure AD, or you can do what we call dynamic scope for your users. And this is gonna be the focus of this episode here. For example, if you were to use Azure AD groups, just as an example, you would need to go and create your, your own group. And let's say you want to export data for only for users that are part of a specific office in your organization. You would need to go and create the group and then add the users as part of it in order to extract data just for those users. What if we want to make it more dynamic, right? And we want to go and specify a scope of users. And in this case, imagine a scenario where I want to only extract information for users that are assigned to the Ottawa office in my organization. Using Microsoft Graph API, I'd be able to query this using the user query. So you can actually go in Graph Explorer and take a look at this, and I'm actually filtering based on city equals to Ottawa. And that will return a list of users that are part of the Ottawa office. And what I can do is I can actually use this, this URL, that REST API from Microsoft Graph URL, and paste that in the scope filter inside of my Azure Data Factory or Azure Synapse Pipeline. So when you go in, if you do select groups from Office 365 tenants, you're only going to get the option of selecting groups. But if you keep it to all users in the tenant, you have this scope filter field that's available to you. And you can just paste in that query that I just wrote and I tested using Graph Explorer. And that will only get information for users that are coming back from that scope. So in this case, that are part of the Ottawa office. Once you're done specifying the user scope, you can simply publish and trigger your pipeline, and that will automatically extract information for just these users inside of your Azure storage account. Just as a proof, I'm gonna go and open, so download the file from today, open it up, and I'm just gonna run a quick PowerShell script that I've created that will go and display the actors that are part of my team messages. In my case, all users from the Ottawa office, we have Nestor, we have Nick, uh, we do have uh, Patty that's gonna be in there. So you can see quickly that all actors were indeed part of the scope I specified.